Hello and welcome to InflatableSupAuthority.com and today we'll be unpackaging the Nixie Newport G4 which is the 2021 model. If you like this video feel free to like and subscribe and it'll help me a long way in creating new informal content for you guys. To give you guys an up close view of the bag that Nixie comes in, it features paddle holders on the side with two straps. It also has a nice little pocket that features drainage on the bottom. From there you also have the front case as well as a little identity card which is actually very handy whenever you're at the airport. And of course the most important feature I think and is one of the most ingenious things that Nixie has done is it's included wheels. These wheels are really handy whenever you have a little ways to go to go from your car to the water and I think it's a genius idea that they included them. This is the back of the Nixie Newport bag. As you can see it looks like a really heavy duty backpack. Comes with very mesh padded straps you can see and then a nice mesh back as well so that it's not you don't have hard pieces digging into your back it also has a little strap that allows it to stay on while you're walking long distances and a waist strap which i also think is very handy as well so now we will start deconstructing the nixie bag showing you what's inside and what's a good idea to just bring with you so we'll start with this front pocket over here So what I have is a phone case, this doesn't come with the Nixie board by the way, a whistle just in case, and then this is the hose for the actual pump which we will go over in a sec, and this is the repair kit. Next we will be taking the paddles off, kind of showing you how to do that. They're held on with these two clips, one, two, so this is the handle and the mid part of the paddle, and then we'll do the other side, this is the paddle. It's actually a carbon hybrid paddle, so it has parts of carbon in it, but it's not a completely full carbon paddle. Overall, I do like it though. It's pretty good. Um, I love the handle. The handle really contours your hand, which is really nice. I thought this was designed very well, but we'll go into this a little bit further in the on-water review. So now we have opened the main compartment of the bag and this is the folded up board. And as we go a little bit more, you can see that it is held with a strap. And this is the pump that I always make sure that it's upside down so that kind of fits the board a little bit easier. Inside the bag are three pockets, which I will try to awkwardly grab things out of here. In this front pocket, I'd like to keep the main fin. This is the fin that comes with the board. It is also a US fin 9.0, which means that it is compatible with other fins. So you could swap different surfboard fins, sup fins, etc., that are just like that model. And these are the two other supporting fins for extra traction. Uh, I love how this is. You can feel it whenever I clank them together. They're very, they made a very good material. It's not cheap plastic. And and here are the handles for the pump. This is the Typhoon G4 pump. Now it's a double pump that comes with this board. So it actually helps you fill up the board almost twice as fast as those norm normal smaller pumps, which 
really it gets tiring after a while with the double pump you get twice as much air in, which means that you have to do not as much effort so the handles they're originally unattached so what you do is you simply just screw them on like so there you go and then this valve attaches right here while this hole actually allows the air to come out whenever it is pumping so if you wanted to drain the paddle board and you didn't want to just press the pin you can also put this valve over here this is the paddle board deflated now if anyone is actually wondering where we are right now we're at nicomaco river in british columbia which is just kind of south of surrey so we'll just kind of show a little bit what it looks like deflated now if you see some odd little scuffs on this board it's because i've used it like at least 10 times before so it's not like it's new and it comes like that and then this is also the leash right here so we can get a closer look at that It's neoprene so it actually feels pretty nice and I also like that there's a little swivel here so that it doesn't get untangled from, from both ends now before we start pumping this up there's a certain way to use this pump so Nixie has instructions right here which is actually very clever and handy so you know how to kind of work the pump so whenever you're beginning you, at low pressure, so 0 to 6 PSI, you want the knobs to be like this. This position. And then as soon as you go to 8 to 11 PSI, you just change the knob like that. And then when you're at the last little stretch, so about 11 to 15 PSI, to be honest, I wouldn't go more than 15, then you just put this little knob down like so. So as soon as it is full, usually I go, if I'm going for like an all day kind of trip or like for a few hours, I put it at 15 PSI. So you simply just twist the nozzle like that and it goes off. Now what a beginner mistake that I feel like I have to really clarify, make sure that this pin is up. So if it's down, it's just going to leak air and you could do like my friend did where he just covers it with the thing clumsily. That kind of works, but it's a bit more risky. So just make sure the pin is up. Now we're going to assemble the Nixie paddle. So first, we grab this piece over here. There's a little button over here that you clip in. And it should go in like that. Next, you just unclip this thing over here. So, put it in. And now you adjust it to your height. So I usually like to have it on the ground here. And basically, what sub companies tell you to do is have your arm like this, so your wrist is completely 90 degrees. But I usually like to have it a little bit further up. So for me, I usually do maximum at about 210 centimeters. But of course, this is all height dependent. So what it looks like is just like this and make sure that the handle is going the same direction as the paddle and you just clip it. That's, and that's how you start it. Okay, next we are going to install the fins on the Nixie Newport. So there will be little pins over here. As you see, there will be a slot right here. So you want to line up the pins to the slot and then slide through. And then next, there will be a little 
there will be a little screw right over here so you want to line this up to go there then you just screw so it's tight so now this fin's not going anywhere next we do the smaller ones so same principle this just slides right in And that's how you install the fence. And now we will be deflating the board and I'll show you how. So you have to open this guy like so. And you'll see a pin. So you press the pin. That will deflate the board. And now we'll be folding up the board. Uh, we do it from the back because the front has the nozzle. So let's begin. You want to fold along with where the fins are. So you do one fold like that. Then you kind of find where the other things are. You want to make sure that these mounts don't get crushed. And you have a little folding line. Usually Nixie, when you buy one, you get a nice folding line that you can follow. So now you just start pressing. Press the nose like so. Make sure there's not a lot of air left. Do one more fold. And then you just want to put this pin up so that the next time, whenever you're out, you don't want this thing to lose air as soon as you take the valve off. Now you just want to put the strap around the board. So, make sure it's tight. Now you open the bag, like so. Grab your board. The board will be the first thing that you want to put in there. zippers make sure everything is clipped and tight and that's it you're off